What's up guys and welcome back to episode 6 of the first On the Road to Glory. First of all, I want you all to know that this is going to be a similar episode to the one previous to this one. So episode 5, if you haven't checked it out, please go check it out. But this is going to be another episode just to make sure you guys are up to date with the series. Because as you know, I didn't post for the past 3 days. So this is just the squad battle rewards we got on Monday. Uh, the ba the bell is back SBC that was uh, posted on Monday. And also the... Thiago still has BC that I decided to do and I'll let you know why I did him, how I did him and you'll see the way I did him, the, the team I submitted so yeah, this is going to be an episode like that uh, tomorrow is, not tomorrow, the on Thursday uh, the episode is going to start being up to date so on Thursday is going to be the Division Rival Rewards, the Marking Match when they came out and the Weekend League uh, Squad Builder yeah, this is going to be the last one that's not going to be up to date but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this one we packed some nice plays in the squad battle rewards, so I'm excited for you guys to see. And yeah, please make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, to let me know what you don't like and what you like, so I can improve the series. And yeah, please make sure to subscribe and enjoy the video. Peace. Alright, so as you guys know, uh, this is going to be a recap episode, so you see. And yeah, I'll update with what's going on in the series. This is going to be the Bellis back SPC that was released on Monday. Uh, as you can see, it's one Welsh player and some other requirements for this SVC. I was just doing this SVC so I could open this pack as well as the rewards. But yeah, as you could see, I only had one uh, silver uh, Welsh player. So it came in really clutch. I could use Aaron Ramsey, but I decided to use him. Uh, this is the final bit of the SVC, so just you know what I used. Uh, here I had to switch uh, Woodburn, who's the Welsh player with the a uh, guy from Cameroon or Senegal, I'm not too sure, I always confuse those two nations. Yeah, I had to switch them to a round and get that left back who's English from the Prem to link with Woodburn so I could get the 75 chemistry, I ended up getting 76, but yeah, for Latin players, pack really easy, really cheap. You didn't have to buy anyone, so really easy. So Bailey's back SPC is finally done, uh, really easy, again, for Latin players, packs not bad at all. But yeah, now is the, the squad battle rewards. This was on Monday. I got gold one. This week I'm gonna try, try and get uh, at least elite one. I want to get top 100, no, top 100, top 200, I mean. But top 100 will be, elite will be nice. Uh, because top 200 is just too, I think you have to play a lot of ultimate games. And for now I can only do uh, legendary because the AI this is too strong. But as you can see, this is now the three packs that I got from Squad Battles. A uh, German Premium, a Premium Gold Players Pack, and a Prime Mix Players Pack. Some nice uh, packs, not gonna lie. Uh, from this, I just want, again, every time I open a pack, all I want is just someone decent. Or someone they are going to see. So, as you can see here, it was a board, Aldurian. As soon as you see Aldurian board, you already know, it's Real Mares. This card is amazing. As you know, I love my 5-star skill move players. Uh, I need at least one in my team at all times. I need one. It, it has to be done. Um, on my main team, I actually don't, to be honest. But if I could, I would have one. If I could buy a player, I would buy a player with 5-star skill move Because I do some skill moves really important that only 5-star skill move players do. Uh, for the, the flare fake shot, it's really good. So you can switch angles and pass or shoot so it's really nice to confuse the opponent in like good opportunities but yeah game Marius from the Spokal battle was, was really nice I wasn't expecting much as I said every time I open the pack I'm not expecting anything big I just want something decent for my club or for SBCs but yeah two packs left a prime mix players pack and a premium gold players pack uh we'll see what we get here uh again not the board I was quite impressed uh, it's, it's Argentinian, center mid, it's Benega, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but it's a nice card, 83 weight is going to be coming to an SBC. In, yeah, it's going to be fodder for an SBC. Small in the new transfer, small uh, from AC Roma, now he went back to Roma from Man United, finally. Uh, he wasn't going to play for Man United, everyone knew that because he's not happy at Man United, he wasn't happy. So he went back to Roma where... He played really well last season. He got a team of season, as we all know, so he played really well over there. But yeah, last pack of the squad battle rewards. A premium gold players pack. Again, I was expecting nothing big. 
just something for the club. Again, another bolster from three packs of the club. We got three bolts. France, left mid, we already knew. Coleman. Amazing player to get. He doesn't have five star skill moves. But what he has, he has 93 pace and 87 dribbling. As a super sub for our main team, he's amazing. And of course, for the Bundesliga team as well, really nice. But for our main team, as a super sub, he's going to be insane. He's going to be really nice to bring on on the 75th minute or 85th minute to just get pace down the wing so we can have crosses or get inside the box and pass it to someone else. But a really nice pull uh, for our team, for our, for our club. The Scarberry rewards, I couldn't be happier. But as I said, I'm going to try my best, my hardest to get top 200 uh, rewards for squad battles next week. Uh, I'm going to do everything I can. I'm going to try my best. Uh, it's going to be tough. Uh, I can 100% get Elite 1. Elite 1 I can 100% get. But top 200 is going to be a bit tough. Because I think I have to play some games in ultimate difficulty and it's just too hard. This year the AI is just too... Too good. It's too good. But yeah. This was the score by rewards, guys. I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. The next part of the video is going to be me competing with Thiago Silva because I decided to do Thiago Silva. As you'll see just in a second, you'll see his stats. And I'll talk you through his stats and why I picked him. So, yeah, there we go. Thiago Silva right here. Um, I'll tell you why. Thiago Silva, I, I have him on my main team. My main account, I've already got him and I've already used him. And for me, he's amazing. He's the main center back. 59 pace. Don't get confused by that. His pace is a lie. If you put uh, Shadow as I do on my main account, he has almost 70 pace, which is amazing for center back. And with those defensive stats, he's amazing. He has a lot of inter 88 interceptions, 81 added accuracy, 87 defensive awareness. His physical is amazing, 82 strength. His acceleration and sprint speed with the Shadow gets up by 10 in each stat. It's amazing. Composure, which is really important for center backs, 86. Short and long passing, again, 80. Amazing. The agility and balance is the only two things that could improve. But even at 67, 66 is amazing. The traces, leadership, and power had a really good. Power had is a really nice one to get in the center back because this year the crosses are too good. Um, and the leadership one, I think you have to have at least one player with that trait because it helps your. The squad of your morale, or uh, the 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 squad morale, uh, helps for some reason. I think that does. But yeah, this was the team we submitted, as you could see. But Neg is in the team, so he was he came in helpful, uh, to complete the house. But yeah, really nice team, really cheap. I bought Musso and Mount, as you'll see, me showing the players I got. So Pulisic, first owner, tradable. He served the job with the uh, Diogo Jota. Um, objective, but yeah, as you can see, I only bought Musso and Mount, so it was 1500 coins, I believe, or 1650 coins, really cheap for me. Uh, for an 82 rated squad, I got an 85 one slot chest, who will probably get some upgrades th through the season. Uh, really nice, I mean, yeah, I'm happy with Jack Silva. I already played him with him in this account, and I was really happy with the results. And yeah, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Thanks, guys, for watching once again. Thursday is going to be the first absolute episode with the Division Rival Rewards, Marking Massives, and uh, the Squad Builder for the weekend league. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel so you can get notified for the next video. And yeah, I love you guys. Peace.